are you sober? Are you trying to get sober? Worked on it, didn't work. Yeah, well, I heard that it's kind of hard. And I've heard that there's several attempts sometimes, but if you're sober, I have a question for you. Have you realized that when you get sober, society looks at you different? <laughs> have you realized that alcohol is literally everywhere? And how socially acceptable a such a toxic substance is? And it's completely okay? Like, for instance, I was a beach body coach. And all the coaches, okay, not all of them, the majority of the coaches that I followed and still follow, still, I was this coach also, but now I know different. They still say, throw alcohol into your life. Just, it's all about balance, right? No, that's not how it is. If you want to lose weight, you don't try to fit alcohol into your diet. I don't care who you are. You can follow every single beach body program and you can fluctuate. One program you might lose five pounds, but guess what? You'll gain it back. And you're gonna keep watching these coaches that keep telling you that it's okay to drink and do these programs as long as you're following their nutrition plan. Guess what? Have you seen how some of these coaches just yo-yo? It's like, yo, eliminate alcohol out of your diet. It's not okay to be a fitness person. And this is where that society, that social shove of alcohol comes in, is these coaches are pushing alcohol almost as much as they're pushing nutrition and working out. Apparently they all go hand in hand. I don't know about you, I fell for that trap and guess what? It didn't work for me. When I eliminated alcohol out of my diet, I changed my body. I walked more, I lift heavy weights, and I don't drink, and I eat balanced. I don't need alcohol to have a good time. Society will keep telling you that it is okay to drink. If you're a mom, you need wine. Wine and momming go hand in hand, apparently. <laughs> um, well, yeah, again, I was that person. I fell for it. It's a trap. Don't believe it. Wine does not help you. It helps you for a few seconds. It, you think it's going to relax you, but guess what? Kids are going to be kids. They're going to be crazy regardless. If, if you're buzzed off a bottle of wine, or you think you're taking the edge off, or you had a bad day, and you come home and you just, well, gotta love all those posts about moms and wine. Oh man, I think back and I used to laugh at these posts, but now I find them cringeworthy because social media pushes alcohol so much that it's brainwashing us into thinking that it's okay and alcohol is going to help solve all of your problems in the world. But here's a thought. Try handling your problems without freaking alcohol. Ever think about that one? Did you get frustrated that you can't lose weight? <laughs> but your coach keeps telling you that it's fine, just drink a balanced, just, you know, do this, don't do that. It's okay, I'm gonna go out with the girls and have margaritas and then post all over social media that I'm a fitness person. But guess what? Some of these fitness people that I see, if they would just take the alcohol out of their diet, they could transform their body. They could 
get the bodies that they've been working so hard for instead of, oh, I lost five pounds. Oh, but then the next program that they do, guess what? They lost five pounds, but it was five pounds that they regained. But if these people would just quit pushing alcohol down these working workout at home people, especially moms, like I understand new moms trying to find your rhythm in life, turning to the bottle of anything, don't fall for it. Wine does not make your life better. Those vodka drinks ain't helping you. <laughs> Those whiskeys, nope. You probably will hate yourself even more because you'll feel like crap. You're gonna be tired. You're gonna feel bloated. You're gonna be grouchy with your kids. But you know what? People are gonna judge you. It is absolutely amazing that a substance so bad for us that causes skin issues, that causes weight gain, that causes kidney and liver and heart and all these other diseases and issues can be so publicly announced. But when you quit drinking, they don't want you to push your sober agenda. They want to keep you drunk and lazy and overweight and unhealthy. That is what society wants. Because living alcohol free is healthy. You'll lose weight, you'll get healthy, and it's a whole different ball game. Since we quit drinking, our I just had blood results done. They were average. All of them were well, an average, I don't know, normal range. And before, they were all over the place. But now, I get, I'm healthier. Do you think the big corporation of alcohol wants to hear that? No. Do you think they want to keep shoving alcohol down your throat? Yeah. I think. And give me your thoughts on this. I know some of you can think the same way I do, but it's quite sad that we can't just live a life without pushing alcohol into other people's lives. I was that person. I'm not that person anymore. And now that I see it, it's disgusting. The thought of alcohol actually makes me like want to vomit. I was driving by the liquor store the other day and I had this like weird thought in my head because obviously there's a liquor store on every single corner almost. But I was thinking, gosh, I just, I wonder what my taste buds would do with just like a drop. And it just like made my mouth water and made me like so nauseated that the, I've gotten so far away from wanting to consume alcohol and it just makes me wish so much for people that they want more for themselves. Why don't you want more for yourself? I just, I don't understand. It makes me sad. Like, why does your life have to be revolved out? Why does your life have to be revolved around alcohol? Why can't you go to events sober? Why can't you just enjoy in the moment being present? Why can't you try losing weight without shoving red wine, because it's healthier, into your system? Have you ever tried doing life without alcohol? And maybe you realize that it's a much better way of life for you. Coming from me, who was that person who would share things on social media, it's all about balance. I am living proof that it's not about balance. Alcohol is not part of that balance at all. 
I thought it was cool. I thought it was fun. But now it's nauseating. It's disgusting. I wish people would learn that it's not the way of life. Alcohol has no place in your life. Not one glass, not one shot, not one drop. It deserves to be dumped down the drain. So if you're struggling with it and you know that society is pushing this and you want to quit, but you just don't know how, dump it down the drain. Dump it down the drain. <clears throat> Look at before and afters of alcohol. <sighs> my body, my face, my skin, everything has changed so much. I was working out five times a day, eating healthy and drinking alcohol. It did nothing for me. I look back at pictures and think to myself like, oh my gosh, people wanted me to be their trainer with the way I looked. I guess they did, but now I am healthier, thinner, leaner, and it's all because I left alcohol behind. Dumped it down the drain. I have a picture to prove it, probably a video somewhere. And that was the day that I realized that there was no need for alcohol in my life. Who cares about happy hour? You know how many places have good food on happy hour? I look forward to happy hour because of food now. I look forward to Sunday mornings with my family not being hungover. I look forward to going to dinner and not spending $200 on it dinner because it was all alcohol. I look forward to going to concerts now because I remember them and I don't spend $50 every time I am in the line. <laughs> like you could easily leave a concert spending a few hundred dollars and then you just start super hungover the next day. Don't remember the concert that you spent 200 bucks a ticket on. I mean, none of it makes sense. It's, you're wasting time with your family. How many of you have to just stay home and drink? Or if you are invited to a family function, you don't want to come because they don't want alcohol around. How many of you don't want to hang out with your friends because they don't want alcohol around? And for us, it's not that we don't want alcohol around, it's just we don't have to deal with it anymore. We can enjoy our life without it and I think that's why we don't want it around us as much is because we know that you are better off without it. We know that you'll feel better without it. And we know that you'll have better connections and be more present with your family without it. Because when you just want to sit around and get drunk, that takes so much time. It's such a waste of time, such a waste of energy, such a waste of money. Time doesn't rewind. All you can do is be more present and don't go to the liquor store just because it's on every corner. Don't go to happy hour to drink just because it's half off. I mean, go have coffee with friend. Go to happy hour and get a mocktail, get an appetizer. Go for a walk with a friend. Try, you know, building a different life than what social media is telling you. Because it's not fair to you, it's not fair to your kids, it's not fair to your family, and it's not fair to your friends the way that some people choose to live their life all about alcohol. And I can honestly talk about it because I was that person. And it's an effed up situation. It's frustrating. I can't go back in time. All I can do is make up for the time that I lost and just be better from here on out. You can't dwell in the past. 
but <laughs> you sure don't have to listen to those songs all that I'll call and go drink to them. You don't have to watch those TV shows and movies that might make you want to drink. Or, you know what, if you are watching those, pour yourself a sparkling water. Pour yourself an alternative to calming down. There are things without the in it and like all those neurotropics. But people don't want to look for the alternatives for calming. There's natural things out there for you. And that's what I found for myself. However, one thing that's really annoying is at concerts, they have bottled water and lemonades and a variety of beers and hard alcohol. They don't have anything. And it makes me want to scream at somebody for marketing because you're discriminating against the sober crowd. You give them two options, lemonade or water. You give the alcoholics that you're going to let drive home wasted, can't even freaking walk out of the venue, let them drive home because you want money. <sighs> that is how disgusting the alcohol industry is. They just want to hype up the prices, they want to get you wasted at concerts, and they want to watch you leave, get in your car, and not do anything about it. <sighs> there were so many people at the last concert who could not even walk, and they just kept going back and forth, back and forth, always having two drinks in their hand, probably every 15 minutes. It was absolutely disgusting, and then there were people that couldn't even walk, and I got to thinking, like, how is it okay that there's no options for non-alcoholic drinks, but yet they can get these people shit-faced just to make money and send them on their way? With the possibility of getting in a crash, killing a family, or killing somebody or themselves, but it's completely okay. Because as long as the industry made their money, that's all they care about. They don't care about people's safety at all. They just want to watch you drink yourself into oblivion, blackout. Hey, go get, go get in your car. We don't care if you have a, a designated driver or not. We're not going to help promote Ubers or designated drivers. We're just going to help promote, come get another drink, come get another drink, come get another drink. And... Seeing it from the sober side is absolutely frustrating. I always had a driver. I never drove from a concert because I was the one that would black out. I was the one that fell, fell for the trap. So please help me push for a better like environment. Why is this so hard? Like, why can't we have fun drinks for people that don't want to drink but like can still have a good time we're just allowed water i'm sorry you're just not cool enough because you can't hang you know how many people like that are the, all those performers bragging about drinking i'm sorry i'm gonna brag about being sober and i hope you can come along with me and brag about being sober also so kick society forcing us to think that drinking is the way of life because it's not and let me know your thoughts in the comments because it just really escalates me realizing that these people get to drive home wasted and yet there's nothing for the sober people we have to put our lives on the line because we want to enjoy something sober, but I have to watch all these stupid people get shit-faced and drive home. What if it was, what if the sober couple that was there hanging out, having a good time, were the ones that the drunk driver killed on the way home? Would the venue get in trouble? I mean, 
how, how does this play out? How is it okay? How is it okay to send a stumbling fool away from the beer garden back to their car? I don't know. It's mind blowing is what it is. But thank you guys for being here and listening to me. We have a job to do and that is to change the mindset of people that are so attached to alcohol and how society has brainwashed us into thinking that it's completely okay to just live a life unpresent, full of booze. It's not. Try living your life sober. Try quitting drinking. It's a lot better of a life, in my opinion. Please like and subscribe, leave your comments, and I will see you next time.